traditional way of teaching, students know nothing about musical speech, about feeling of different intervals and how that benefits their technique. Uh, moreover, while listening to a piece, they often cannot recognize whether the melody goes up or down, which intervals are in the melody, they can easily confuse 4th and 5th or 6th with 7th. Um, and therefore, if they don't have absolute pitch, uh, it's much harder for them to write down any melodic dictations. All of this directly reflects in piano technique and performance. If students don't feel expressiveness of each interval, their melody wouldn't be beautiful enough. If students don't feel a difference in distance of each interval, their lips wouldn't be accurate. Feeling emotional meaning of each interval helps to feel difference in each interval. And how do we feel? We feel through singing. So I'm gonna sing now every interval with intonation. Uh, how to make correct intonation with watching this video. And why we would consider that if something changes our intonation and singing that would also affect our playing is because of the energy of breath between notes while singing directly affects the energy in our muscles, how we feel tension in our fingers, in our hands. So my fingers basically would feel these emotional vibrations and they would respond right away um, in this gap between notes. So if I say... <clears throat> So while singing this distance, my fingers already get this energy of emotional meaning. So they um, feel tension exactly in the level to express, to convey my emotional uh, idea of every interval. So, <laughs> so every interval have different meaning, emotional meaning. And of course this meaning will be slightly changed by um, if interval is big or small, descending or ascending, by the harmony, dynamics, phrasing or musical form of the piece, but uh, the basic is always the same. So, second and seventh represents feeling of longing, yearning, waiting, asking, this very like tension feeling. Uh, third, and let me sing right away for you, so you could feel the uh, um, how these actual emotions changes the vibrations uh, of my singing, of my tone. So second. Oh, and seventh. Oh. Now third and sixth represents feeling of love, romance, harmony. No. Oh. like uh, opposite to each other. Fourth is um, like very energetic and fifth is very calm and meditating one. Oh. Oh. Augmented fifth or diminished, augmented sorry, fourth or diminished fifth is uh, like mysticism, it's not very stable. Oh. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> And then octaves and unison um, represents open statement, very confident expression. And unison. So one more time, everything was sing with intonation. I'm just gonna play all the intervals to show you the difference. One interesting thing, remember I told you about musical speech that um, every interval has its own meaning. So when I was analyzing musical speech here, I was astonished by how he actually professionally uses this. He's like, he like knows everything about this. Remember I told you that the second is expression of uh, feeling of, how to say, uh, when you're longing for something, when you're like waiting, when you're asking, this kind of energy. So he used it in the company all the way through. like from the beginning and even in this part 
If you analyze, it's just all made made of uh, seconds. Well, let's consider this also seconds. So this longing intonation is all the way through the whole piece, and that creates like the atmosphere exactly what we need. So, um, and even in the first melody, in the beginning, okay, this is third down, but then, so you can actually hear how she's asking him, okay, come to me, please, come to me, you know? Intonating intervals with musical speech unbelievably increases accuracy in large leaps. When you know and feel which interval you intonate while jumping, that somehow brings accurate impulse to your hands. Your hands would feel um, the exact distance between notes while making a leap. About left hand, every time it would play um, this crazy stuff like... just be able to play the bass clear, not like <laughs> So, what am I doing with my elbow, for example? I'm moving it right, I'm moving it left. So I already prepared for this time. At the same time, I intonated with musical speech very, very accurately. So here, for example, I would imagine five down, five down. Now this one is four, four down. Um, and this pattern actually remains the same. Like here, again, five down, four down, five down. 